Your hand positions are going to start in the G position, but then they are going to move. Plus, you're going to play a um, combination of different chords. So it's uh, going to start like this. So it's your G chord. Then the second measure, you have G, C, E. Right? So you will have to go one and two and three and. Then it's going to be again G chord with a cross hand, top G. And measure five, it's going to be A. So it's your five, seven chord, if you remember what that means. A, C, D, F sharp, C, D, and measure six, back to the first chord, which is a G major chord, okay? Then the second page, second page starts with a D chord, so your left hand moves down first, and then right hand also. Cross hand, arpeggio. This one is actually, it's a 5-7 version of this chord, so it's going to be a C on top, not D. So be careful, it's C. And then back to the G chord. So measure nine starts the same way as the beginning. So measure nine, it's a G chord. Measure 10, it's a fourth chord. So you have G, C, E. Measure 11, G chord with a cross hand arpeggio with a G on top. And then this is your five, seven. Measure 14, one, two, three. And then the last line, your left hand goes down an octave to play G. Right hand, B, D, E, G. Cross hand arpeggios. And then your right hand is going to play a little bit of the sharps pattern. And then going up to play an octave higher. Well, actually two octaves higher because it says right here, these two notes an octave higher. And and that last note is going to be two octaves higher, okay? So the last will be like this, F sharp, A sharp, slide to G and B, then G, B, up here. And we will use a pedal throughout the whole song, okay? So I'm going to start from the very beginning. One, two, three. Happy practicing.